Today we'll be talking about the oil sampling process for the Qualitrol DGA dissolved gas analyzer models 150, 250, and 400. You see here a DGA model 150. All the Qualitrol units are equipped with a sampling valve. They're designed for the ease of, ease of use and sampling and all operate in the same manner. The materials necessary for the oil sampling would be a syringe with a lure fitting and a hose if it will not reach because of the valve or some other material in the way. The first step in oil sampling is to make sure that you have a uniform oil sample that's representative of the bulk oil conditions. So you want to make sure that it's free of debris, water, paper, anything that could get in the way of your oil sample. So generally you want to follow the ASTM standards D923 and the ASTM standard 3613 for proper oil sampling procedures. Today we'll walk through a little bit of that and show you how th what that looks like. So the first step would be to open your sampling port here, your sampling valve for the DGA 150. You want to turn the sampling valve in order to let oil flow freely in order to remove any debris or water that may have collected to make sure that you have that bulk uniform sample. The amount of oil that you purge depends on the condition of the transformer and there are guidelines set forth in those standards that I referenced, the, D, the ASTM D923 and the ASTM 3613. Once you feel you've purged enough of the oil and flushed out any debris that could be inside of that valve, you want to put your lure syringe in the valve. There are multiple ways to do this. You can either put the syringe directly into the valve, as you can see here, there's room with the valve. Sometimes there is not. You can also use a hose as an extender in order to make sure you have that room in order to put your sample in. You want to turn the three-way valve and make sure that you're purging all air bubbles. You do not want air bubbles in that sample. Once you feel you have purged the air, do not push the air back in here. You always want to make sure you have positive pressure on your transformer before you take an oil sample. If, you d if there is no gauge, always follow the procedures set forth in the ASTM 923 standard. Paul will now draw the oil sample into the syringe and take his oil sample. You want to make sure that the DGA is always installed in a location that is not near galvanic fittings or plumbing or parts that are coated with zinc. They can cause false hydrogen readings when they react with the water. So for best results, use it in a drain valve that's either surrounded by brass, bronze, stainless steel, or black iron in your location. Once you have your oil sample, You'll remove, you'll close the lure fitting and remove the syringe from the sampling port. You'll then close the, the sampling port on the DGA till hand tight. You never want to use a wrench and over tighten that, that port. You'll then wipe off any of the excess oil. and make sure that the, the port is fully closed. You'll know because there will be no oil continuing to drip out of the port. Once the port is closed, you'll return the cap and again wipe off any excess oil or dirt. One thing, key, key thing to remember with the oil sample that you never want to expose it to sunlight. It may degrade the uh, amount of hydrogen that is in your sample. And that's how you take an oil sample from a DGA 150.